Yo, what is going on guys? It's me Kingsticks. I'm gonna be showing you how to play OP mana bug Warwick top lane. Warwick top lane is already good, but there's a mana bug to where if you hold down your Q on a minion, even if you don't kill it, it doesn't cost you any mana. So you can perma freeze waves and stay alive all the time without blowing any mana. Here's Shaco. Shaco top lane, he's walked right into me. Clearly tapped out. I'm gonna Q through him. He's going to his boxes. He has flash, so I'm not gonna flash on him. Not too worried about it. Anyways, guys, our rune setup, press the attack, presence of mind, alacrity, last stand with bone plating and revitalize. I'm just going to avoid that box. I'm going to run him down, give him a little auto, give him a little Q right there. Against weak opponents, you just blow them around. Don't let them get free CS. Hit them with your Qs. Don't use your Qs on the minions to start out with. You need to use it on the enemies like that. I'm not going to keep chasing him, though, because of his boxes. And I did go barrier. Barrier top work is actually pretty legit. If you get ganked, you can usually 1v2. If you're against a ranged champion, you're gonna wanna go second wind instead of bone plating. I'm up against a melee champion, so I'm not gonna bother here. Yeah, he's standing right on his box and keep hitting him with Qs. I'm not gonna walk into his stupid boxes. I'll just let them go on cooldown. If uh, Trundle ganks me, I'll kill both of them. I'm assuming Trundle's here. Q through it, see, didn't cost me any mana. And that's how you stay full health on Warwick Top, guys. Once you have a lead in lane, you can kind of just abuse your opponent by uh, abusing the Warwick Infinite Mana Q bug like that. It didn't cost me any mana to do that. Very, very strong. Very happy with it. So Shake goes down in CS. Whenever he steps up, I'll hit him with my Q. And if he gives up the wave prior, then I'll just use my Q on the minions like that. Easy last hits. Make sure you hold it all the way through. If you don't hold it, it will cost you mana. By not wasting your mana on your Q for minions, you'll have a really big advantage in lane. I'm gonna try to let him hit me, then my minions will hit him. Not too worried about it. If I'd ignite, I just ignite Q right now. Baby barrier auto attack Q auto attack your Q is a pretty good auto attack resetter. I'm gonna flash on the Shaco here. Boom auto attack Q baby E to soak the turret damage. I'm telling you guys, if you want to flex on an E girl or I guess flex for an E girl or flex on your friends, go war at top. They'll be really impressed. Now if you're picking Darius top and doing well, it's whatever. Pick war at top and do well, and everyone will want to be your friend. I'm telling you. Max your Q first. Don't put your points in your W like I did. That was a complete accident. Absolute beginner. If you want to watch Warwick played at a really high level as a top laner or just as a jungle, I don't like to play Warwick in high elo because I don't think it's good. Watch Pernelli X. He's actually someone who I got this idea from. So definitely check out his stream. I've linked down in the description below. And I'll have it in the pinned comment as well. This is actually one of his setups that I think is really, really nice. And I wanted to show you guys. So, yep. Yeah. Just shove wave in. I already have blue buff, so I'm not too worried about wasting mana on the minions here. I'm gonna kill the box. And I'm gonna shove this in and I'm gonna reset. Or maybe hide in a bush or something. Q through it, not wasting any mana. Then get the minions. I'm gonna save my Q for his box. He's gonna lay his box down and I'm gonna break it. Look at that. I took almost no damage. He hit me with an E and I took a turret shot. Auto attack Q, guys. Boom! I'm gonna take out that box. Not bad. I'm gonna act like I'm backing. I'm gonna let his wave push. I want him to hit a minion and then he's fucked. He, he just fucked himself so hard. Check this out. I, you can perma freeze it by not wasting your mana. Last hit. Yeah, he, dude, the wave's over. He just lost. Wait, he doesn't even know it, but the game just ended right there. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So let your minions tank. You don't want to take too much minion aggro. Yeah, he, he doesn't realize it, but he's just messed up his wave so bad. I'm pushing him off the minions so he can't eat it. I don't want to miss this one, though. Try to only last hit it once their boy's pushing into you. That way you don't mess it up. 
Okay, got him off. I did miss a minion for that. I'm not too worried. He's going to miss a few, most likely. He missed that one. Holding on to my Q because I want to trade with him. He's not stepping up. Far enough. I could use my Q to farm the minions. He's got a box down, I think. Alright. That's fine. I'm going to Q through that. Ooh, my Q didn't go through it. I accidentally did a short Q. Gonna queue through that, get my health back, not blow any mana. I'm not gonna let him just push the way for free though. I am gonna trade a little bit with him. Max your Q, guys. I accidentally put two early points in my W. Always max your Q on Warwick top. It was just muscle memory habit. Because whenever you play Warwick jungle, you wanna actually max his uh, Q first. I mean, on Warwick jungle, you wanna max his W first. I got barrier. He didn't expect that. <laughs> barrier work, guys. I'm telling you, it's so cheesy. It's so strong. I almost just died to his freaking boxes there. I'm going to have to grab this wave. It's about to get wrecked. I'm going to try to grab these minions and pull them back, and then I can just perma freeze it. Not bad. Now we can just uh, kill him one more time and then we'll reset. The wave should be pretty close to frozen here. It might get a little messed up. Rip, I missed one. Because if his melee minions step up anymore, they're going to get wrecked. Yeah, the wave just got fucked by my turret. I think he's still at a slight push. Let me try to stop my minions here. Yeah, my wave's going to end up pushing. My, my reinforcements got here first, so at this point, I'm going to put another point in my queue. And I'm just going to hard shove this, because I know my wave's already going to push too many ways. Q through. If he pushes it again, I'll just freeze it on him. I have like five times his CS. A little more than five times his CS, I think. It's really close. Because he's not, he shoved the wave and then I just, you can perma-freeze it because you don't run out of mana. You can even tank the wave. He's having to farm with his E so he can't even poke me now because I'm just pushing him off the minions. He has a box back there so I can't really do much. I'm going to try to shove this. Yeah, let's dump this in. Got an auto off, auto attack Q, got my PTA, another auto attack. If I start taking too much damage, I can always use my E. I want to Q him again, but he's not stepping up for it. I think we're going to be going for primarily on hit. We can always get a lifeline item in the mid game. Auto attack. Ooh. Uh, not too shabby. His clone's gonna keep hitting me in the back. That sucks. There's the real Shaco. Yeah, finally blew up. Now I can freeze the wave if I want to. Alright, I didn't even see the trundle there. That was my bad. I'm straight up trolling. I still only have D Blade. I'm going to go ahead and build straight into a Bork. Sorry you guys had to see that. Luckily he didn't get any of the gold. Trundle got it. So when Shaco comes back, I should be able to stomp him. Because I have a full Bork. And he doesn't have any items. Your first item on Bork, you can go Bork. You can go Wit's N. You can rush into Titanic Hydra. You can go straight into Frozen Gauntlets. You can rush a lot of different items. It's just very situational. Since I'm so far ahead and uh, Bork's good against their jungler and top laner, I would like to get... That's what I got for Bork early. Oops, missed that one. Didn't have the attack speed for it. I'm gonna get down my pink word to make sure I don't get wrecked. I'm gonna auto attack you, auto attack. Gosh, his little clone is so annoying. At least I got his ult though.
Jeez, when is that thing finally gonna blow up? Yeah, you're dead. Got the Bork speed up, auto attack Q. If you're going up against any kind of squishy top, as long as it's not Teemo, your Q bite will just be chunking them big time. And I'm back to full HP. Full HP, full mana. Warwick infinite mana bug is actually so strong. And once you get your Bork, or once you get your Wits End, then uh, you're even stronger. He is an AP matchup, so I could have gone into Wits End. I wanted the Bork though for the slow. Felt like it would be a little stronger. Gonna break back at the 10 gold. Gonna move on to his turret plates. I see Talon is mid. And uh, I think I can get another plate here. Ooh, it's gonna be close. I'm not quite gonna get it. It's fine. Gonna just shove this in. Gonna Q through. Didn't cost me any mana. Gonna take this plate. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Luckily, I have my E to take a little less damage from the turret. And Talon is missing. I have no ult or barrier, so I'm going to sit back here for a second. Yeah, Talon is here. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> we got him. Warwick has a lot of life still with his Q and auto and Bork. Very, very powerful. I don't know why my whole team's top, though. I didn't even have barrier ult. Imagine if I had barrier ult. That would have been really, really easy, but it was very close. Luckily, I have him a level up on them. I have more items, so I could easily take it 1v2 without barrier or ult. We'll be getting turret here. I think we'll run down into dragon after that. I think I'm gonna go for a wit's end after this and then get a Sterix gauge. You want some kind of tankiness. You don't want to go only on hit. After Sterix, I'll probably get uh, more on hit damage. So maybe a Nashers. Warwick does a lot of AP damage anyways. Lots of attack speed. Nashers is pretty strong on him. I'm gonna stay. They just got Dragon. I was only gonna back to go get Dragon. Shaco still doesn't have full item. I'm gonna take these golems. Looks like they're pinging for mid lane assistance. That's when you gotta drop the big mute. Multiple of the enemies are missing. I'm just gonna leave. I'm about to get four man or some shit. Yeah, he's Chaco ulta. There's definitely someone else here. I'll just act like I'm leaving. Yep, there's Talon, there's Trundle. I gotta get going. Talon, what is he even gonna do? What a little cutie. Bork, auto attack, fear. Got ulted. Boom, boom. And he's down. I think we might get a team at before we get wits end. I would like some kind of wave clear to help me speed this up. I think we even got ignited there. It didn't matter. The on hit damage of the of the Bork on your Oracle is kind of insane. I'm going to clear this on my back. It should be frozen pretty decently right now. Should be a nice little freeze, little neutral back. Now, uh, I could go straight into wit's end, but I think going for Tiamat is a lot safer. I'll get my tier two boots and then I think we'll go ahead and get, how about dead man's wit's end and then Nashers. Yeah, Dead Man's in a wit's end sounds really, really good. Because the Dead Man's makes you really fast. It gives you a bunch of health and armor. It'll keep me alive. I could also go Dead Man's Sterix wit's end. That would be really good as well. I'm going to W to get here a little faster. If he's going to run, that's fine. You kind of need the team out either early or mid game. Otherwise, you have no lane pressure. Like, I can't push the lane very hard or fast. If you only care about kills, rushing Bork is fine, but you might want to get team at then rush Bork for more uh, damage. 
the new death dance is also a good option i know that's a fake one but i don't really care i'd rather just kill him now get it over with he didn't do any damage to me with it I'm gonna auto attack q it's dead three of them are dead it's only shaco and yumi that are up so i think i can shove this in i'm gonna take golems again dude this guy's running out of mana he's actually just running out of mana they're all alive i'm gonna pull back at least temporarily Yeah, the Q mana bug only works on minions. If you try to do it to monsters, it doesn't work. Talon's pissed. Oh, the Q through, baby. Too slick. Yeah, just hold your Q down. It attaches to anything. Kha'Zix jump, Tristana jump, any kind of dash or, or flash. You'll stick right on them like glue. Really, really strong. So just keep autoing until you have to queue, basically. There's definitely going to be someone else over here. Oh, he can't fight me. He's cute, though. Going to ult him. Also, still have my barrier. Yeah, there's just no way, bro. Warwick with Bork is fucking scary, dude. Like, I understand I'm fed, but still, work with Bork hits hard. You gotta ignite me if you wanna take me out. I'll just kill this guy. I'll heal off his clone. I'm almost full health by fighting his little ult there. I'm gonna kill that too. Yeah, you can't do anything to me. I have too much healing. I think Bork is amazing on Warwick top. Bork rush or get T-Mat into Bork. Either one's really, really strong. Oh, they're lo someone was low there for a second. Let's get off an auto attack or something. Or a Q. Wow, he freaked out. I guess he thought we were going to ult him. Yeah, there's no really point in playing Shaco top. If you play against a normal top lane, you're going to lose. He has no Q or, or no ult. What is he doing? And I'm so tanky, dude. With a little bit of the tabby armor, a little bit of HP, I can take three, four turret shots. And he had to be ignited too. And I'm back to full HP. It's a power of Warwick with Bork, guys. I wouldn't recommend it on Warwick jungle, but Warwick top, Bork is kind of insane. Yep, another one bites the dust. Not bad. They just can't take you out. They got a three, four man me. I still have barrier. I think this is a good bait here. Hopefully I'm not just baiting myself. Gonna Q mana bug it. I don't want to run out of mana. Q through it. Q mana bug OP. We're gonna get turret. All the enemies are missing, so we're gonna pull off and take their red buff. I don't want to stay this far pushed for too long. Or they're just gonna five man me. It won't be worth it. His red's coming up. Trundle's gonna run right down through here. To, for the red buff he's either gonna go for wraps or red most likely just run straight into red here eh, looks like he might know better got him gonna kill the yumi gonna barrier and i died that's crazy trundle has a lot of damage I think it was the Bramble vest that made the difference. If he didn't have Bramble, I would have just overhealed it on him. But that was good. I'm happy with that. Oh, did I not use my Bork? If I didn't use my Bork active, then I'm a noob. I would have definitely lived if I had that. Okay, next up is Wit's End. Wit's End is 2,900. Nasher's is 3,000. I think Nasher's would actually be better in this case. Warwick's AP Scalings is decent. And I think this gives more attack speed. And they both get 50%. I took mostly 80 damage anyway. So do I need the wits end? Eh. I kind of want the Nashers. Having the on hit. Dan yeah, let's go Nashers. I think it'll be fun. If Trundle didn't get the Bramble vest, I would have gone the wits end for the bonus healing. But he has the Bramble. So I'm just looking for CDR, bro. The problem with wits end is it gives zero CDR. So buying it right now wouldn't make a lot of sense. 
in my opinion. The enemies end up surrendering and that wraps up this war at top game. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.